Hey everybody, this is Michael Whitaker, and um, I'd just like to thank you guys for watching my videos. And um, I've got a lot of questions about harmony and music theory, and especially about film scoring. You know, I teach a film scoring class here in Nashville, and one of the concepts that um, I talk about is how to get outside of the uh, typical chord changes uh, when we write music, uh, whether it be for a pop song or for um, an actual movie score. Um, and we're used to um, hearing things in major or minor modes. And um, I'm gonna show you a little trick right now to get outside of those modes and automatically generate some chords that'll sound really cool, um, especially when you put like strings and stuff to it. Um, but it could work for all kinds of music. And that is, uh, if I were to take a simple chord, like a C major chord, a triad, uh, you would have the notes C, E, and G. And it would sound something like this. This is happy chord. And we're used to this key, key of a major key, and the chords that go in it. But instead of thinking about key and mode, let's just think about the elements of a chord and how we're going to make another chord off of that chord. So I'm going to start with this key, the chord of C major, C, E, and G. If I was to take one of those chords and change, uh, use one of the elements, the C, E, or G, and make that element a major or a minor triad, we're starting with triads, um, it, it would automatically generate a chord that would work, that would not necessarily be in the key, but uh, would give us a new possibility. So, for example, let's try C, we're gonna do C major, and C, E, or G, we're gonna pick uh, G and just call, let's say minor. Uh, it could be major or minor. And now we have a G minor chord. So from that, a G minor chord, you have to know your chords. It's G, B flat, and D. And so from there, I'm gonna go, okay, well from, I'm gonna take that B flat and let's just pick minor again. a B flat triad, B flat, D flat, and F. And let's take that uh, the F of that chord and make it major. Let's take that F triad, F, A, C, and let's make that uh, A uh, major. Now we have A, C sharp, and E. Let's make that uh, C sharp minor. C sharp minor, C sharp, E, G sharp. Let's take that G sharp and make it minor. G sharp, uh, B and uh, D sharp. Let's take that B and make it uh, major. So as you can see, I'm using this formula and creating uh, uh, moving chord changes that are irregardless of key. So let me play something. I'm just gonna do it in my head. You can see what's going on, but I'm using only changes that are elements of the previous, uh, of the chord that I'm on. And I'm just picking a note in that, that chord and, and making a major or minor triad. This works much deeper, it can go much deeper, but this is the basic starting point. So I'm gonna start on a C minor, C, E flat, and G. And I'll just create. So that's uh, lesson number one in automatic uh, 
uh, writing and uh, for composition. It could work with pop music too. Um, it gets deeper when you get into sevenths and thirteenths and expanding this and using a leading tone uh, or the melody uh, with this same technique, which uh, maybe we'll talk about in another lesson. Hope you liked it. Talk to you later.